What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to your first video of Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, now, this game has been around for four years given the uh, uh, rebirth anniversary and I have been playing it ever since. It does bring up some memories regarding the whole pandemic and COVID and when everyone was stuck and, you know, some of us were just playing video games. Um, but given that I haven't played uh, Warzone for quite some time and especially the Rebirth uh, Island, I thought this is an amazing opportunity to give this another go. Um, and as well as, you know, recording the gameplay and see, uh, and see how it goes. I haven't played Warzone in probably a couple of good months now. Um, and furthermore, the, uh, the Rebirth map, which I'm quite excited about, also quite nostalgic. Um, it, it has been a, um, a, a good period of time that... You know, all of us have spent playing this game when we were uh, in reverse commas locked home. So, you know, it, it's definitely um, something that we, we, we need to, to remember and always be grateful that it has, it has passed. So, within the gameplay, please, 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 guys, just gonna put it out there. Do not judge me. I haven't played in, in such a long time. Uh, so, I, I'm just curious to see how the game actually is. I'm glad that they have brought the movements back, which make. Uh, uh, make the whole um, uh, the, the whole navigating of the area a lot quicker, but equally, um, the, I, I need to I need to be also realistic that I don't know the metas, I don't know what weapons to use, um, so I'm just gonna go a bit blindfolded in the process and you know hope for the best. Okay, so usually my strategy is to always be um, surrounding the uh, prison area. And, you know, holding this as long as possible usually helps um, in progressing. Yep, go the greedy here. I just love the fact that they haven't actually changed the map. It's probably the best thing about it. It was such a well-designed spot that, you know, mixed everything for everyone. But I do remember at first when they launched it, the game was so unplayable there were so many uh sweaty people how we call them um and it, it was just so difficult to kind of navigate around the, the the map and get yourself used to a way of actually playing the game but i guess this also always happens when there's a new game there's a new sort of mode introduced and people they just kind of find their ways into playing the game so yeah maybe um Maybe because we were playing the game so much in that period, this adjustment stage is just felt a bit longer than, than usual. But maybe it was just uh, just me and the group that I was playing with. Alright, so hopefully we'll be able to hold this area a bit. Okay, I had to put my headphones on charge here, so... Sorry for that, guys. I still feel a bit like a noob sometimes <laughs> when I stop like that and just kind of look at the weapon stats. Um, but again, I, I, you know, I just try to get used to whatever the new meta is and just trying to uh, play with as many weapons as possible, really. I also love how they've tried to make the map a bit more time accurate, like these areas where you could tell that has been some time passed by and, you know, the, the, the environment looks older. Um, so that's quite cool. So I'm curious to, uh, to see how long um, this is going to be uh, kept for. Always a tight spot, the, the roof. You're back on station. Go get after it. Okay, let's try and grab our loadout. This was the last part of the map that um, I haven't really explored. And I think this was towards the end of the uh, whole Rebirth Island timing. 
So I'm not gonna adventure myself there because I don't know really um, how to navigate that space. So. It is also quite funny how they've increased the stash um, area in your backpack, which, you know, to an extent, it's it's good, I guess. You're, you're able to carry more things with you. But also, I do remember when they first launched the Warzone uh, game mode, you were limited to the stuff that you can actually bring with you. So that kind of made it a, more, a bit more interesting because, you know, people won't end up stocking on loads of steams and gas masks and stuff. So... Yeah, uh, you'll have to go to a buying station and actually get those things while you were in the final areas of the gas. So yeah, it was it was a bit more, I think, challenging at some some instances. Um, but maybe it's just my thought or my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the the, the larger stash or less stash area? What what was your preference? Okay, so go rid of this guy. Yeah, I definitely appreciate the movement. That's that's definitely something that um, I've missed in the game. But even with this, I have to say, even uh, when the game first launched, um, before you kind of clocked how to do the movement, you'd still kind of feel a bit, a bit you know, behind the, the curb. Um, but then when you realize that that actually works in your advantage, I think it's just kind of mechanical that you would end up using it. Um, and it's definitely something that uh, is quite unique for the Call of Duty franchise, I think. There we go, we're speaking about the stash, so definitely going to take advantage of that. And... Oh, they've changed the menu of the buying station as well. Oh, hopefully you don't get killed here. There's a guy here. Oh, there he is. Nice. And I'm not sure about you guys, but do you think they fixed this whole gas mask situation? I mean, I appreciate that now you just put a stray on and it does remove the animation when you're kind of in the gas or approaching gas. But equally, do you not find it a bit annoying that it kind of restricts your field of view? Um, I, uh, I surely um, think this is a bit, a bit odd uh, in the way that it works as mechanics, but maybe again, it's just me. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay, so hopefully we can get another UAV here. No, we have enough money, haven't checked that. There's some noise here. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> Missed all those shots. Right, let's go back. Oh, the guy um, is really taking advantage of the water, doesn't he? Oh, there is. He is really playing with me, doesn't he? Oh, oh, this uh, this MCW, it's uh, it's quite accurate, isn't it?
Right, let's um, let's make a move for this guy. Um, stay in the Stand still stay in the water before um, before the gas closes in. So, yep. I think that was lucky. Surprised that guy hasn't seen us. Okay, they should, uh, they should help us. Alright, so not many people left really. Probably gonna have to take advantage of the higher ground here, so yeah, let's, let's move around. We're gonna have to rush this guy. Nice. Okay, so it's a 1v1, it seems. It's for UAV. Okay. Got the higher ground, so. Nice. Let's go, guys. Awesome. Well, there we have it. Um, wasn't expecting uh, to have a nice first win, but there we go. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. Um, I, will, um, I will probably try to have a few more Warzone related content. Um, so if you do have any tips or any loadouts that you guys will suggest, uh, please leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to try them. And as always, thanks so much for tuning in and see you guys in the next video soon.